If you want to earn 10,000 rupees every month for the next five years, you can set up systematic withdrawal plan, also known as SWP for the mutual fund portfolio that you hold. This is a very popular method of earning money regularly from your mutual fund investments. In this video, I'm going to talk about basics as well as advanced features of systematic withdrawal plan so that you can earn regular money from your mutual fund investments safely. Also, in this video, I'm going to make a cocktail of ELSS plus SWP to get you benefits on the income tax, benefits on the capital gain taxes, as well as growing your mutual fund investment. This video is going to be super interesting. Let's go. There are two types of SWP that we need to understand. Let me give you practical examples so that you're 100% clear. The first one is called capital gain appreciation SWP. Let us say your requirement is that you say to me, Rahul, I have 5 lakh rupees of capital and I want to get regular income out of it. But let us say after five years, I want my capital capital also back. Fair enough. You can go for capital gain appreciation SWP. Let me give you an example. What you see on my screen is let us say you invest 5 lakh rupees in a mutual fund portfolio and that portfolio is generating 10% return every year for you. Right now what you can do is from this maths what you see on my screen is if you want 5 lakh rupees to remain 5 lakh after five years what you can do is you can set up a withdrawal frequency of monthly. Every month you can withdraw these 4000 rupees so that at the end of 20th year, you still have your 5 lakh rupees of capital intact. While in the five years, you have withdrawn roughly 2 lakh 40,000 rupees in total, right? Every month you're withdrawing 4,000 rupees. Now you will say, where is this 4,000 rupees coming from? It's very simple. Your portfolio of 5 lakh rupees is earning 10% return on it. 10% of 5 lakh rupees will be 50,000 rupees per year and you can withdraw that 50,000 rupees per year which is roughly 4,000 rupees every month. So in the process whatever return your 5 lakh of portfolio was earning you have not let it allow to compound. What you have done is because there is a need for you to have regular income you have withdrawn it every single month so that 4,000 rupees is what you can earn every month. This is called capital gain type of SWP. You might have a requirement here. You might say Rahul 4,000 rupees per month is very less for a capital of 5 lakh rupees. Is there a better option? So in this example of fixed amount SWP, what you will see on my screen is 5 lakh rupees, but you are able to now withdraw 10,000 rupees every month. Now you will say if the 10% return is what it is giving, how come I'm able to withdraw 10,000 rupees? It's very simple. In this option, what you will do is you will also withdraw part of your capital as the monthly income that you want, right? So in this example, 10% of 5 lakh rupees is only 50,000 return per year, but you're withdrawing 10,000 rupees, which is 1 lakh 20,000 every year. So this additional 70,000 rupees you're withdrawing every year is coming from your own capital of 5 lakh rupees. Therefore, by the end of five years, you will not have 5 lakh rupees remaining with you or invested as per your capital. It will come down to 40,000 rupees in the five years you've withdrawn total six lakh rupees so you still earn decent money but you are withdrawing your capital in this example so the choice is yours whether you want to go for higher withdrawal every month or lower withdrawal every month that's where the difference between these two swps come also now let us talk about some advanced options in swp rather than going for fixed amount every month there are few mutual funds that are now allowing every year percentage that you can withdraw from your portfolio. So for example, here Motilal Oswal that is allowing you at the rate of 6% of your portfolio. So if your portfolio is 5 lakh rupees, you can withdraw 6% of that every year or 8% or 10% or 12%. By going with the percentage approach, what you're doing is allowing your money to compound better and you're not withdrawing all of your money and you will still have some money left, right? So this is one of the great options that right now a few of the mutual funds are allowing. Also another good option that ICICI Prudential has offered recently is that not only you can do a withdrawal of 6% per annum, you can increase this withdrawal every year by a certain percentage. So for example here, 4% top up is what you can do which is that first year, let us say you will withdraw 5,000 rupees per month, but the next year you will increase this 5,000 per month by 4% giving you 5,200 per month, adjusting this for inflation as well. So these are some of the advanced SWP option which are out there. They are not there for every mutual fund. Only specific mutual funds have started to offer that, but I'm sure very soon more and more mutual funds will join and give you these flexibilities. Let us now make cocktail of ELSS and SWP that will give you not only income tax benefit, it will give you the capital gain tax benefit, it will give you the compounding impact and also it will set you up for ELSS mutual fund investment for rest of your life for free, right? What you see on my screen is 
year one, year two, year three. So let us say you know about ELSS mutual funds. Please do not worry if you do not know. On my YouTube channel, you will find a full video on ELSS mutual funds. They are called equity linked savings schemes. I will put the link in the description. What you see is let us say in ELSS mutual fund, you invest every year and you do SIPs every single month, right? So here you see year one, you've done 12 SIPs, year two, you've done 12 SIPs and year three as well, you've done 12 SIPs, right? Now, as you know, ELSS mutual funds come with three years of lock-in period, meaning the SIP one that you did on the first month, you can only withdraw this amount on the 37 months, right? The second SIP you can withdraw only on the month of 38 and the third one you can withdraw on the month of 39 and so on because of the three years lock-in. Now we are going to mix the power of SWP on top of ELSS investing. What you see on my screen is when the first SIP is ready to be withdrawn, what you can do is you can set up a systematic withdrawal plan for the same amount that you did the SIP for. What that will do is it will actually take the money out of your ELSS and you can reinvest that money into ELSS for the next fourth year as well as fifth year and sixth year. So you do it for the month of 37th using the SIP one. Then again, the next month, the systematic withdrawal of SIP two will trigger. It will take the money out of your ELSS mutual fund and will reinvest in another ELSS mutual fund. By doing so, what are you doing? You are putting your ELSS mutual fund investments on autopilot. You don't need to pour any money in year four. You don't need to pour any money in year five and so on. Not only this, there are other three big benefits. Number one is income tax saving. Every year you are saving a lot of income tax on your ELSS mutual funds provided government keeps the benefits on for the next few years. The second one is since you are withdrawing SWP every month in the smaller amount over the one year your capital gain is likely to be less versus if you were to withdraw all of this money in lump sum right i've created a full video on capital gain taxes please go ahead and watch it i'll provide the link right so you will save a lot of money in capital gain taxes and thirdly because you are doing sips and you're withdrawing only part of it your money in ELSS mutual funds will compound every year and in long term it is going to give you a lot of money, a lot of return and you will be able to accumulate wealth over a longer period of time. So please go ahead and watch this section again and again because it's very important for you to understand the power of ELSS plus SWP together and how you can automatically produce money for your ELSS investment for the next few years. I hope you like this cocktail of ELSS and SWP. If you did, please press the like button so that it reaches out to more and more people on YouTube. Let me now give you three practical life examples of using the power of SWP. First scenario is let us say you have a home loan and you're paying 8% interest on this home loan. At the second hand, you have the mutual fund that is giving you returns of let us say 12% or 13%. What you can do is set up a SWP from this mutual fund so that you can pay part of your EMIs from this SWP and it will take a lot of burden away from your home loan repayments and you might actually pay your home loans quicker because you have this extra income coming from your mutual fund portfolio. Second practical example is let us say over the last five years or 10 years you have done a lot of investment in mutual funds and you want to withdraw this money for your personal use. Rather than withdrawing all of this money in lump sum and paying a lot of capital gain taxes, what you can do is set up SWP. What it will do is it will give you two big benefits. When you're withdrawing this money because of rupee costing average, what is going to happen is you're not going to withdraw this money at the lower NAV so that your returns will be more. Secondly, from a long term capital gains perspective, you get up to 1 lakh rupees of capital gain absolutely free, tax free. I've created a full video on this topic. I will put the link and you can watch it. Therefore, what you will do is you will save a lot of capital gain taxes if you withdraw using the SWP method rather than withdrawing all of this money in lump sum. And third example is, let us say you are paying your child's education and you have to pay quarterly fees. What you can do is again, you're on your mutual fund portfolios, you can set up SWP that will pay for your child's education. There are a few practical examples where people go ahead and set up their SWP in addition to the retirement planning that most of the people anyways do. Now, very important rule about when to start doing SWP. The minimum period for SWP should be one year before you can start withdrawing your mutual fund investment. There are two primary reasons for it. Number one is that most mutual funds will put an exit load if you withdraw your money 
before one year of investments and number two is that if you try to withdraw money or do swp as soon as you set up a mutual fund sips what typically happens is your money is not given any chance to compound therefore you are going to eat up most of your capital and you will soon run out of your capital so minimum is you allow at least one year at least allow two or three years i would say but even if you want to withdraw regular income from your mutual fund portfolio at least allow one year before you can set up any sw now comes the big question which are the mutual funds that has given best swp returns or you should look at investing your money into to get best swp returns well in this video i have not covered them because of time limitations but if you would like me to shoot a full video on this topic giving you the best mutual funds based on certain specific parameters let me know in the comments create a full video on the swp best mutual funds i'll be happy to shoot that i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please press the like button and you can follow me for upcoming videos until then keep rocking